Um, okay, so here I have a spring. This spring is from one of the bug assault guns. Uh, these things, which are pretty interesting. Um, they have a really weird safety mech right here, which every time you pull the trigger, unclick so you can redo it. They're pretty powerful, fairly strong brime, fire salt. Yeah, like that. Um, this is the spring from one, since I was given two, and one of them was destroyed. Um, it is insanely strong. Like, this is the strongest spring I have ever pulled out of a stock blaster, I guess? I'll call it a blaster. Um, here's a sledge fire string, or spring. It was in my night finder over here. Um, it is weaker and than this spring, and I believe such fire springs are as strong, or if not stronger, than a K26. So, yeah, this is powerful. And I think it'll fit in the Nightfinder, so I'm going to try to do that eventually. But this is a spring that is ridiculous. Um, the rest of the blaster has plenty of shell space. And, and this one, since it works, I'm probably going to put an RSCB or a hopper-style clip on it. I don't know, we'll see, and rebarrel it and such. Um, yeah, so I, I chronoed the Nightfinder with the uh, Sledge Fire Spring with its original, or not original seal, slightly upgraded seal on the Plunger Head, getting about 90 to 100, 100 110 FPS. Um, I did reseal it before, um, oh, I, re I just resealed it, actually, using the over, or x-ring style thing it's closer to an x-ring than an o-ring but it that comes out of this with minor modifications to the plunger head and ring itself you get a very very good seal on a night finder plunger tube um it is capable of vacuum loading which is something S on at least loose fitting darts i couldn't get it to work on the worker gen 2s they're too tight of a fit so, using editing, I'm going to pause the video and install it, then we'll get to cronying with my chrono barrel, which I know isn't perfectly accurate, and I have some, or a couple of remarks on it. It has a weird tendency to either my blasters hit fairly hard with half darts and significantly lower with full darts, like significantly lower, or this reads half lengths incorrectly. Which I think is the issue, honestly, since I cronied the Nightfinder with full darts, getting about 90, let's say. Then with this half dart, and others actually, not just this one, it was getting around 140, which is a crazy high increase for about a half size reduction. So, I don't know if you know anything about that, please tell me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get to putting the spring in my night finder, and I'll show you when it's done. Quick note, um, while when I put this back together, I tried to test fire it a couple times. You can't compress the spring in its stock length enough to have it catch in night finder, but I want it in here enough that I'm going to cut it down with my Dremel. So this thing, uh, get, get back to you right after that. We'll see how it performs. It is done. Um, I have Nightfinder reassembled with a mean prime now. Um, you may notice the name, uh, TKM2. This is the second of my TKM Nightfinders. Tiny Killing Machine is the name. Uh, it's, named, it's named after my cat because she's tiny and she kills everything. She's mean. Um, let me scrounge on my floor for some darts. Okay, I have a Gen 2 from Worker and a normal Elite dart with a plus sign on the front of it. If you see that, I don't know what that what that's from. Any, anywho, we're going to try and crony it. I did a couple test shots into the chronograph and or the chrono barrel, and sometimes it just doesn't read. Let's see. I have noticed it does work just fine when you fire from the front, and you can get a more ease, even angle. Didn't read. 
can see right there, nothing. Try with the half dart. Neither of these have been ramrodded. The full dart got, probably got vacuum loaded a bit. I'll try from the rear. 164. That's what it read. I don't know if that is correct. It could be. If you know anything about Corona Barrels misreading half darts, please tell me. Yeah, that didn't vacuum load very much. Let's try this again. Nope, nothing. It glitched and reset. That's never happened before. That's weird. Trying again. 90, which, not the best. I would expect it to hit higher. It probably hit the inside of the barrel because 17 30 seconds brass does not have a perfect fit inside of a Nerf barrel. Anyway, anyhow, let's try it one more time. 101. So, pretty good. I would definitely recommend if you have a bug assault blaster and you like nerfing and you're okay with killing it to put the spring in something, doing that works really well in the Nightfinder, probably work really well in a Fire Strike as well, or any blaster based on that platform. At least, at least in the Nightfinder, you do have to cut a bit off of the end. I cut off this much, just a couple of coils. Um, it's actually exactly the same length as a sledge fire spring now, so there's that. It catches perfectly um, with a stock catch spring, so yeah, I definitely recommend it, and that's about all. Bye!